some crazy energy the next couple days and I want to talk about it. Today, May 22nd, we have the Sun in Gemini trine, Pluto in Aquarius, marking the first Sun transit since its transition into the air sign of Gemini. Happy birthday, Geminis. I'm so happy to bring this message and that we have an opportunity to really experience ease in our collective transformation, especially around matters of the mind and within power dynamics. With both the Sun and Pluto being in air signs, it really highlights the need for elevating our thought patterns, habits, and how we communicate with others. This is a great time to work with subconscious reprogramming, maybe get an energy healing today, set up a game plan for what you want to set into motion in the coming months, and give yourself permission to let go of past experiences that you may still be letting impact you or um, impact how you're showing up in the world. Sometimes the biggest thing standing in our way truly is ourself. And this change that really allows us to be honest with ourselves and approach our perceived faults from a place of love and compassion. Today is a fantastic day to allow yourself to explore the expanses of your mind and to metaphorically clean house. Tomorrow, May 23rd, we have the Sagittarius full moon prompting us for another release and letting go. As I said, the Sagittarius full moon is all about releasing the old and optimistically expanding into a new chapter. This energy could really help close out those old cycles that you may be clinging on to. So don't be surprised if there are some new triggers or not necessarily new, but triggers that come up for you in order to be resolved. The positive energy here of this Sun Trine Pluto is meant to help ease us into this new beginning and acknowledge the parts of ourselves that we no longer need to cling on to for any sense of safety that we never really had to begin with. Not only that, but Venus is popping off with two transits tomorrow, the 23rd of May, before it fully transitions into Gemini later on in the day. We have a Venus conjunction with Jupiter, both in the sign of Taurus, giving us a zip of creativity, a boost of our self-expression and optimism, and just generally infusing us with joy and a zest for life after some of the harder awarenesses that may have been brought to light. One thing I really want to note here is that Taurus always moves at its own pace, always moves slow, right? So while we're seeing the height of this energy with these planets in Taurus, it could be that we don't see the actual physical manifestation of these things for weeks or months to come. Our second Venus transit is Venus sextile Neptune in Pisces, which is playing on that optimism and joy that Venus is infused with when dancing with Jupiter. This is wish fulfillment here. This is the peak energy to clear, to manifest, and to allow your dreams to take hold into reality. Jupiter is also sextile Neptune, creating so much harmony between all of these planets. And I really wanna drive that point home to you guys, that this is for all of our benefit. Jupiter is shining down so much ease, joy, and expansion for us, and I'm just really excited about it. We've had a lot of transits in the past few months that have been facilitating a deep soul level healing, and I'm really happy to be able to talk about some of the lighter and more positive energies that are coming our way. We also have Jupiter moving into Gemini on the 25th of May, which will be a huge player in the coming months, but I'm going to go into that on a separate video. Jupiter deserves its own spotlight there. I did pull a couple cards today for these particular transits, and I got the Nine of Cups and the Three of Cups here, which really just drives home my point of we are having great wish fulfillment. The things that we want are coming to fruition. This is gonna be a time of celebration, of rejoicing after kind of trucking through the mud and going through a lot of tests and trials over these last few months. Overall, this is going to be a beautiful next couple of days, closing out all these old cycles with the hopeful beginnings that follow. And I know I didn't pull this card, but this, these transits really remind me of the Fool card here, jumping off into the unknown, leading with the heart, and trusting a higher power to embrace the coming changes with you. Know that you're protected when you align yourself with the higher powers that guide you and embrace the changes that are coming. Even in the face of the unknown, there is so much to look forward to.